so yes hi dikshit first of all introduce yourself before entering into the snap of iv engineering for your hal interview and for the this is a post for the management training right yes sir good evening sir this is dikshit kumar i am from bajnad district kanad of himachal pradesh i have done my schooling from my native place only after then i have done my graduation in civil engineering from nit amepur and currently i am pursuing my mtech from iit vhu and my hobbies are playing outdoor games like badminton cricket volleyball etc okay dikshit when is your interview sir on 6th of may 6th may okay so in highway what do you prepared so the complete highway i think okay Overview can you tell highway. me what is camber yes sir camber is the upliftment of the road from the center to drain of the water rain water to drain of that rain water okay so on what basis this camber is being decided so it is based upon two criteria sir the amount of rain for heavy or low and sir type of road type of road yes sir you must heard about rafometer rafometer yes sir yes sir rafometer have you heard this uh, word rafometer i think sir not rafometer sir i think bump indicator i have Okay, just go uh, with the bump indicator. So what is the so use bump, of this bump indicator? So, bump indicator is used to determine the cumulative vertical undulation on the load uh, on the road in the longitudinal direction, like for per unit length, like for one kilometer and etc. Okay, Dikshit, uh, there is a two type of slope generally we have uh, for a road. One is your uh, this uh, gradient, and another one is your camber. So what is the yes, difference sir. between that? What type of slope they are basically? I just want to know. Yes, sir. Camber is on the cross cross section of the road. Like this is the cross section of the road, then camber will be like this. And the gradient is sir along the longitudinal direction. The height uh, this. Fine. Can you tell me what is the maximum width of the vehicle as per IRC? Yes, sir. Two point four four meter. Two point four four meter. And uh, maximum height of the vehicle. So I'm not very sure. I think three point. If uh, I I take a guess, sir. Yes, go ahead. Maybe sir, three point four, three point two, something like that. Uh, you must heard about this uh, intermediate. Yes, sir, intermediate. Yes, sir. So, uh, what is the width of that particular carriage? Sir, five point five meter. Uh, Dikshit, one we have this uh, flexible payment and another we have rigid payment. Yes, sir. So, can you tell me the code for the rigid payment? Uh, what, sir? Which one code we are using for the designing of the rigid payment? Which one code? Yes, code. Okay, code, sir. For for the flexible payment, it is IRC thirty seven, and for rigid payment, it is a fifty eight. So, as for this code, can you tell me what is the this uh, minimum grade of concrete requirement for making this rigid payment? No, sir. Exactly, I am not sure about the uh, uh, grade of concrete, sir. Okay, fine. So, can you tell me the layers that we have in the flexible payment? Yes, sir. There are mainly four layers. The first one is subgrade layer, then the subbase course, then the weight course, and the final is the surface course. So uh, specific to highway, actually we have two tests. One is CBR test and another is the plate load test. Yes, sir. So can you tell me what is the purpose of conducting CBR test in highway? Yes, sir. With the help of CBR test, sir, we can determine the strength of the subgrade. And along uh, after this test, result of this test, along with the some empirical curves, we can determine the thickness of the pavement. So can you define how this test is being performed in lab? Yes, sir. There is a setup in which uh, we have the standard loads for 2.5 mm penetration and the 5 mm penetration. So CVR value is determined as the CVR uh, load at uh, 2.5 meter upon the standard load for the 2.5 meter. Similarly, for the 5 mm, so not 5 meter, 5 mm and 2.5 mm. So from there only what we get the standard the, load to value which is. Yes, sir. Thirteen seven zero kg for two point five mm penetration and two zero five five kg for five mm penetration. 
okay fine so dikshit if we have to convert this standard load value into standard pressure then how will you convert sir so, pressure load uh, pressure is going to load upon area so we have the load then we will uh, pressure is going to load upon area so load upon area the load here we load we have like 1370 then we will divide by area pi by 4 pi uh, pi d square by 4 and then we'll get a, a value of i remember how do you calculate uh, uh, dikshit can you tell me uh, what area you are taking here what area yes yes so uh, area radius of the so load upon area area is pi by 4 d square and d here we are taking i think the uh plunger diameter i think plunger diameter yes. from yes, there we can get the value okay fine fine uh can you tell me uh, as per this uh, is 2720 that is code for the cbr uh, test yes, so sir. according to this code uh, how many days we have to soak the soil specimen in water so four days four days yes sir Dikshit, what is this uh, modulus of subgrade reaction? Sir, it is the uh, load upon uh, load upon deflection. A standard it is uh, it is for I think uh, point uh, one uh, point one two five centimeter. I think standard deflection. What is its unit basically? Unit load upon uh, deflection that uh, load upon deflection. Sir, can I sir load upon? So, so the pressure upon deflection. So I think kg upon centimeter cube. Okay. So uh, how will you get the pressure value? Pressure value. Hmm. Sir, pressure. We will uh, the pressure goes there. I think with there we get the value of pressure. in the pressure goes earlier earlier you applied load suppose you applied load in plate load test yes sir so how will you convert that load value into pressure so actually i am not able to recall the right now the test the procedure okay no issue so can you tell me dikshit what is the meaning of this geometric design what is the what is the meaning of geometric design yes sir geometric design deal with the design of the all the visual elements on the road like the cross section and element side distance vertical uh, curves horizontal curves horizontal lines okay can you define what is overtaking side distance yes sir it is the minimum distance that is uh, required by the overtaking vehicle to safely overtake the over the uh, for a uh, third vehicle the vehicle which is ahead of that Okay, and if we have uh, some kind of multi lane, suppose we have four lane, six lane, or eight lane road, so what do you think? Yes, Overtaking side distance we have to provide there, or we just uh, proceed with the stopping side distance? I don't think that we are requiring this overtaking side distance there. Okay, so last question to you, Dikshit. So can you tell me what is the value of coefficient of longitudinal friction and lateral friction as per IRC? Yes, sir. For lateral friction. It is point point one five, and for long wave runners, it has a range, which are which depends upon the velocity, and the range is point from point three five to point four. I think. And why coefficient of lateral friction is less as compared to long wave runners? Sir, uh, to avoid the overturning, so we take the lesser value in case of lateral friction. Okay. On on what basis these values are being decided? Uh, lateral friction, but sir, I am not able to get your question, sir. Uh, we have the coefficient of lateral friction zero point one five. Yes, sir. And longitudinal friction, you said there is a range zero point three five to zero point four. Yes, so sir. So on what basis? What thing we consider while we are just defining these uh, are the coefficient of lateral and longitudinal friction value? So. So in the design, there will be there is a the it is a effective factor in the design, sir. That's why we have to take these values. Okay, so uh, Dikshit, fine. So I think uh, right now I can provide you feedback. 
okay so first question that i ask you camber that is okay camber is okay. kind of the cross slope or transfer slope going to the rosette so dependency of camber that is also okay uh, bump integrator you told uh, this is uh, giving us the cumulative measure of the vertical undulation for a particular road length yes yes sir rafometer kya tha uska kya hoga sir rafometer uh, doing the same purpose same purpose bump integrator yes rafometer doing the same purpose okay okay yes. these are two different okay. instrument and for the same for the ek hi do ek instrument ke do naam hai yes yes you can also consider it like this rafometer bump integrator ke do naam okay Achha. although in bump integrator in code its speed is been decided because it is a instrument which is going by another vehicle and that vehicle yes, speed is specified you see yes sir okay for the time being now you, you can just remember the one person having the two different names one name is outside okay. name and other name is his own name yes sir theek okay. hai and this uh, what is the height of the vehicle it is a uh, 3.75 uh, i think you told me 3.75 2. something me i told i think 3.2 to 3.4 this is uh, okay. basically 4.75 meter 1.75 meter 4.75 meter 4.75 meter okay sir okay. yes sir actually and rigid pavement and this uh, if we talk about irc 58 then it is clearly mentioned so minimum this uh, compressive strength of concrete should be 40 mpa that is m40 grade of concrete okay so minimum grade we are using m40 m40 as just in pre, just in pre stress mein m40 lete hain wahan pe pre tension ke liye yes, 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 yes. okay sir okay sir fine yes sir so uh, rest of things are same but uh, yeah yeah dekho see here if we have to convert the this uh, standard load value into pressure value then we are just taking the plunger diameter yes, so sir. what we are doing we are dividing the standard load value by the plunger area yes sir yeah uh, although the things are okay uh, there is uh, no question that you didn't answer every question you answered but uh, just have a look there should be uh, more clarity on the answers while you are delivering answer there should be more clarity like right? yes sir. so what is the this modulus of subgrade reaction it is not load upon area Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. Uh, load upon uh, deflection that you told to me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is the kind of pressure required to produce a standard deformation of the plate. Standard deformation is what? Point one two five centimeter or one point two five mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's why I ask a unit from you. What yes, sir. What is the unit? So from unit, so you, uh, you can have a look on the things. So what yes, actually sir. you were saying and what unit uh, are saying here? Yes, sir. Yes. Clear. so this coefficient of lateral coefficient of long term friction coefficient of lateral friction value is generally less as compared to long term because chances of toppling of vehicle are more when a vehicle is uh, traversing from straight to circular path what is happening there centrifugal yes, force sir. is acting na yes sir so the tendency of the vehicle to move out of the track is more yes sir even uh, practically we may get the higher value Yes, sir. If we are getting suppose a point one six, let it be. So, but uh, for the safer point of view, so we are considered the less value. Okay, sir. Okay. So that's why this coefficient of lateral friction is less as compared to long term. Now, suppose if the long term friction suppose fails, what is happening there? A collision of one vehicle with the other vehicle. The casualty yes, chances will be less as compared to the toppling of the. Vehicle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. And okay. on what basis these values are being decided by the IRC? The simple answer is that. all the worst possible scenario that might happen suppose your road is super elevated uh, heavy rain is there mud on the road surface is there all the worst condition we consider after that we just considering these are values practically the frictional coefficient value may be higher than this one okay okay we have taken the lowest value for the worst condition yes yes and uh, we want to be in safer zone na yes yes always want to be in safer zone yes sir fine so uh, dikshit uh, everything is okay just uh, one thing you have to improve in yourself while you are answering the question just uh, be some professionals uh, like uh, don't take okay uh, this uh, modulus of subgrade direction is this one it is a uh, load upon deflection so when yes. whenever you are defining a part you will think because uh, you are not uh, appearing in the vibe just have a look uh, after this conversation it will also be available on the panel just improve little thing in yourself that will be very helpful to you thoda formal thoda formal gestures bhai yes 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 that basically i was saying okay okay sir okay and everything is uh, good matlab matlab thoda question you uh, answer that is very good 
and you just uh, have a little pause that is not open. that is not an issue if okay. someone is asking 10 question from you and you are answering 7 8 that is very good okay sir. okay and so level of question sir level of question kaise rahega sir actually the same which i asked just have a look on the design of payment that is quite important okay. like if we, if we are talking about code what irc 37 what irc 58 main main bullet point just have a look on that one okay sir what is the purpose of providing tag code prime code what is aggregate impact value and why this los angeles aberration test is there why not attribution test so like that okay sir fine yes sir. so anything else